one of you amen god bless you amen we're going to go uh our lesson will be coming from the 23rd psalm uh psalm of david amen if you have your bibles you can follow us there amen let us pray right quick Father, we thank you right now, God. We ask that you bless, oh God, your word. God, bless your servant. God, hide me behind your cross. And God, that you would bless your people, God, to hear your truth. In Jesus' name, and sow it in their hearts, God, that it might take root. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. This is a very popular psalm. And we thank God for an opportunity to be before you and to teach. Uh, uh, this is a psalm that David, King David, wrote. Amen. Many attributed David as one of the great, uh, the greatest kings, amen, that Israel ever had. Amen. Because of his ability to follow God. And uh, he had a testimony that he loved God. Amen. He had a testimony that he was a man after God's own heart. Amen. And he was anointed as a very young lad to to go. Amen. And to do the work of the Lord. Amen. He, and so David was a very uh, different type of leader. He was a leader. Amen. That was trained by God. Amen. And he knew the importance of being able to serve God. Amen. Through humility. And he was a shepherd. Amen. From his youth. And amen. God is just so good. And God is a shepherd. Amen. Of his people. And so we thank God for being our shepherd today. And we thank God that he is the one that leads and guides us into all truth. Amen. Because when you think about it today that we have so many people that are following not the truth of God, but they're following uh, lies, they're following falsehood, they're following false doctrine, they're following things that are not of, of God, and they're not of the Bible. Amen. And the Bible says that there would be many false prophets and there would be many people that would come saying that they was Jesus. Amen. But they're not the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we are not going to follow them, even as the scripture says. So let me read and then we'll begin to teach on it. It says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Here is David beginning to elaborate uh, the job of a shepherd. What a shepherd does is a shepherd provides for his people. Amen. A shepherd leads his people, amen, to water. He leads them to the things that the, the sheep have a need of. Amen. He, he makes sure that every need is provided. And even so, God does the same thing in our lives. Amen. God makes sure that we have everything that we have need of. If we just come to God and ask him, he's our heavenly father. He said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. So God is there and he wants us to trust him and be in a relationship with him and know that he is our shepherd. That he's not going to lead us nowhere that's going to cause us any harm. Amen. You cannot follow God and go contrary to you cannot follow God and be hurt or be destroyed. Amen. Because God is a protector of his people. Amen. And so look at this. God is just so awesome in that he's our shepherd. He's our king. He's our Lord. He's our savior. He protect us from all harm and danger. Even when we didn't know him, God was still our shepherd. Yes. God still watched over me when I was out of the I was out of harm, I was in harm's way because I was in sin and I did not know God by the pardon of my sin. But God still protected me in my life, even though I didn't know him, even though I wasn't walking the way I should have walked. I, he could have cut me off. 
He could have allowed me to be destroyed. Amen. I could have been dead and in my grave. But God's mercy and grace is just so amazing uh, uh, that he protects us even when we don't know him until he brings us into his fold. And thank God that he brought me in his fold through Jesus Christ, through his son, amen, that he sent to die on Calvary that I might have a life in him. The Bible says he restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Look at David begin to talk about death and be, uh, talk about the things that are out of his control. Amen. Because we all going to die. One day we all have to die. But it's not bad dying, but it's bad dying and not knowing your Savior, not knowing your Lord, and not knowing who is in control of your life. That's what's bad. That's why we have to make peace with God while we're living. We have to praise God while we're living. We have to give God the glory while we're living, while we have life, breath, and strength in our bodies. Because God is the one that gave us life. And for the purpose of us praising God, amen, this is what we are created to do, to praise him. Nobody else can give God the praise like the man that he created. God uh, created us w that he would have a fellowship with us, that he could come, amen, and sup with us and we with him. And, and that's what happens in the Holy Spirit. Amen. When God borns you again, you are able to pray. You are able to sup with God. You are able to pray to the most high God. You are able to bring your petitions before God. Come on, somebody. This is a powerful lesson about the Lord is my shepherd because can't nobody lead you like God. Can't nobody do for you what God can do for you in your life. And I'll tell you, I'm going to be uh, perfectly honest with you today, the viewers and listeners, is that I was so empty on the inside. Before I got saved, amen. And I'm telling you today that there can be nobody, you cannot be happy without God because you're going to always have a void in your life that only God can fill. Come on, somebody. Money can't fill it. Ladies can't fill it. Uh, uh, the things of this world won't be able to fill it. Only God can fill your soul with, uh, 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 in that emptiness that you feel. I don't care what you try. It will never feel that emptiness. When you come down from your high, you still got to recognize that you're still empty. Because God is the one that feels. He created that place for him, for himself. So we all have a conscience. We all know, amen, that we, when we are going astray. And we all know that God is calling us in our lives. We all know that we are going the wrong way. God already gives you a conscience. You already know that you, you need to give your life to the Lord. You already know that. And the enemy's job is to deceive you to believe, I got time, I can do it later, or I got time to do this. You know, you're not promised tomorrow. I'm not promised tomorrow. So we have to live for God in today. We have to eat. Each day we get up, we have to say, Lord, give us this day our daily bread. Amen. Forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those that trespass against us. Why? Because we have to live with God daily. We have to seek God daily. We have to fellowship with God daily. We have to pray to God and commune with God daily. Before we go out into this evil world, before we go out into, uh, 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 to do our jobs and the different things. And I tell you something that, uh, uh, you know, this life will keep you so busy that you, you'll feel like you don't have time for God because you got to get up, go to work. You got to come home, watch over your kids. You got to do all these things, cook for your kids, do all these things. And it seems like in your day, you don't have no time for God. But I say to you today, uh, the Lord is pressing on my spirit. Make some time for God. Amen. Make some time to give God some of your quality time. Amen. Because tomorrow, not promise. And one of the things that we must do is that we must we must know the lord we must know the lord amen because he is the only salvation to the ends of the earth the bible says in the book of isaiah god declares look unto me all ye ends of the earth and be you saved jesus said i am the way the truth and the life no man come to the father but by me he said i'm the door yes i'm the door of the sheepfold in word in other words he say the door to get into his sheepfold is himself 
And if you don't pass through the door of Christ, if you are not like what uh, Jesus explained to Nicodemus, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. And the Bible says that which is flesh is flesh. And, you know, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So you, we're not talking about another natural birth, but we're talking about a spiritual birth that God does through the new birth in Jesus Christ and believing on him whom God has sent. Talking about the Lord is your shepherd. He's your shepherd even unto death. Even when death comes for you, God is your shepherd. Amen. One day we all must die, but we don't have to fear death because he has defeated death for you and I. Yes, he is our shepherd. Amen. And the, and, and the part about the rod and the staff, they come for me, is talking about God's word. It's talking about God's truth. Amen. Sometimes God corrects us with his word. He corrects us to keep us in the fold. Amen. To keep us where we ought to be so we can be blessed in God. Come on, somebody. You got to walk with God. You got to walk daily with God. Amen. You got to praise him daily. Amen. You got to give God glory daily. You got to worship God. You know what worship is? It's more than just singing a song to God. Worship is more than just praising God in church on Sunday. Worship is your living. Worship is your whole attitude about God. Worship is when you, you're you away from the church, you're still praising God. When you're, when you're in your home, you're still praising God. When you're on your job, you're still praising God. That's worship. Your worship must be continual when it comes to God. Amen. Because that's how you get peace. That's how you get joy. And a lot of people don't understand why they go through so many problems is because they have a problem in their worship of God. God wants you to be a true worshiper. God wants you to have a pure heart before him so that you can worship him. Come on, somebody. Amen. When we walk with God, we are walking with an incredible God. He knows everything. We can't hide anything from God. If you think you can hide from God, you're deceiving yourself because God sees everything. And so we're just praying today that somebody's heart would be touched because the Lord is your shepherd. The Lord is your shepherd. I say that again. The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. You know what? You got a decree over your life. I shall not want because the Lord is my shepherd. You got to tell somebody that the Lord is your shepherd. You got to believe it in your heart before you can tell somebody that the Lord is your shepherd. Thank God for you, Brother Stephen Howard. I see you on there. Thank God for you. But God is so good to us today. Amen. And I thank God for what he's doing in all of our lives, how he is bringing us to a better place in him. God is doing so many great things. We thank God for each and every one of you Facebook listeners. And God is, I just want to get God's word out because I want to be obedient to what God is telling me to do. God say teach on the, on the airways, then I'm going to get on the airways and teach. Amen. Sometimes we have to do uh, uh, what God tells us to do. Amen. And not wait for something to just come and fall in our laps, but we have to be obedient to the vision that God gives each and every one of us. According to the calling that he has on your life, you have to walk in that calling. Come on, somebody. And then God will do the work because the faith is, is walking in your vision, walking in the vision that God places over your life. That's what faith does. Faith don't sit back and wait. No, faith acts in obedience to God. And faith will go out there and build an altar uh, uh, unto God. Amen. It'll go out there and offer up his own son, the only son that God gave him. Amen. Because it believes God. This is the faith I'm talking about. Faith will go with you where people can't go with you. It'll cause you to do things and it'll cause you to see miracles and signs and wonders. Amen. In God's name. Amen. I'm living for God today, and I believe God is raising up a, 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 a big group of warriors. God is going to raise up an a, a army, amen, that is not going to step down and not going to uh, 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 go back on the Lord, but go forward. Amen. It's time for us to step up. It's time for us to make disciples. It's time for us to continue, amen, to take this word forward. Amen. And I tell you today, you might look at me and say, that's their way. He's crazy. I am crazy, and I'm crazy for God. And what Whatever God say that he's going to do, I believe God is going to do it. 
I'm going to Africa and I'm going to go preach the gospel over in Africa. You know why? Because God told me he wants me to go. And I believe that God is going to give me the resources to go to Africa. Not only am I going to go preach the gospel in Africa, I'm going to bless those people that are dying each and every day from hunger. I'm going to bless those people, amen, that look like they're about to die. Amen. And death is all over them. But God can rebuke that death from them right then. And God could bless them. This is the type of God I serve. I don't serve a weak God. I serve a God that can do more than I can even imagine, think, in my mind and so if he can do all of that then what what can he do there's nothing too hard for god that's what the book uh what uh job said in the book he said god there's nothing too hard for god amen i believe god can do it if you believe god today god can save your life god can give you what you need today it cannot be provided by the things of this world and i'm telling you today the lord is your shepherd he will walk with you even unto death amen jesus said i'll never leave you i'll never forsake you but i'll be with you low unto the end of the earth what did that mean he'll never leave you he'll never forsake you come on somebody but god is waiting for us to make up our mind that we want to serve him Come on, somebody, and don't put it off tomorrow what you can do today. And I believe God is going to send warriors, amen, that are willing to stand for God. I'm not scared of the devil because the devil tried to kill me but couldn't because of God's mercy. So I got to go out like a soldier. I got to have my sword in my hand. I got to give my life to the Lord and believe God for what he's going to do. If it's going to be great, it'll be because God did it. Come on, somebody. And, and we got to believe God. We can't just talk this talk. I'm not here trying to get no money. For what? Money for what? If I get money, if God give me money, you know what it's for? It's for to help somebody else. It ain't just Jesus helped other people. Jesus wasn't just concerned about himself. Jesus wasn't selfish. Just live in a mansion by himself and drove a Rolls Royce while people were starving to death. That's not the love of God. And I want to live in God's love. Because if I can live in God's love, I can see miracles. I can see wonders. I can see signs because God is love. Everybody that hate is not of God. The Bible says, how can you hate and be of God? You read 1 John. Amen. It defines out that hate is of the devil. Yes. Jesus told him the same thing. Amen. It says, look. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I don't know about you, but I want to dwell in this house forever. I want to be in God's presence forever. And that is in his eternal kingdom. And before I can get into his eternal kingdom, I must please him in this life. I must walk with him in this life. I must praise God in this life. Come on, somebody. Believe in God for the things that I have need of. And God will bless us with those things. You know, David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. If you do God's will, you would never want for anything. The problem is people don't want to do God's will. They want to do everything but what God is calling. If God is calling you to the ministry, if God is calling you to preach his word, then you better get a fire set up under you and start preaching God's word. I don't care if you preach to a signpost. I don't care who you preach to. Preach to somebody and tell them about Jesus. Somebody needs to hear that God is a savior. Somebody needs to hear that God loves them. Somebody needs to hear that God can do, make a way where there is no way. Somebody needs to hear a testimony on how God saved their lives. Come on, somebody. We are getting to the point and we're living in the last days and we need to know who our savior is. Amen. Everybody professing Jesus ain't of God. And I'm not trying to uh, put nobody down, but I'm going to say what the word of God says. The Bible says that a good tree can't bear evil fruit and an evil tree can't bear good fruit. So what does that tell you? And Jesus said, you shall know them by the fruits that they bear. So if your tree is bearing evil fruit and it's not bearing good fruit, that means that you're not on the Lord's side. 
And I'm not being with anybody that's not on the Lord's side. I'm not, Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Follow me as I follow the Savior. Follow me as I follow the shepherd. Follow me as I follow the one that has mercy and compassion on the poor. Follow me as I follow that one, amen, that fed the hungry, the 5,000 and the 4,000, amen, on the mountainside, then preach the gospel to them. Follow me as I preach to God's people. Amen. We are here, amen, to do a work for God. And I don't care. We're going to turn this world upside down for our God. We don't care. The devil can't do nothing except God allow it. And if God allow it, it's working for our good. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's working to purge us and to bring us closer to God. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm just thankful to God today for being my shepherd, for being my personal savior, for understanding the things that I need from God and providing those needs. And I tell you, I am blessed today. I'm blessed to know him. I'm blessed to be saved. And I'm blessed to be a follower of Christ. Amen. Look at all the people that are not saved. Look at all the people that don't even think about God on their minds each and every day. Look at that. It's just so sad. You know, you got so many people walking through life, they don't even know God. Our young people, we need to teach our young people about God. We need to tell them to start praising God in their lives. Amen. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. But, you know, you all can be a wise person, amen, by fearing the Lord. The Bible said the fear of the Lord, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. You know what I'm saying? And when you fear God, that's wisdom. You don't have to have 20 degrees to be wise. All you need to do is fear God. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. But the fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom. So unless you fear God, you don't have wisdom. Unless you know God, you don't have wisdom. Unless you know Jesus Christ, you don't have anything. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing, you know. But with me, you can do all things. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Amen. So we are really here for his purpose. And so once we understand that our purpose is to do his will and our purpose is to walk in his commandments and our purpose is to walk in his love and our purpose is to be a, 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 a sheep in his fold, amen, we'll understand God more and better each day that we live. We'll, you know, I don't want to just be in the same place forever. Come on, somebody. You ought to be progressively growing in God. You ought to be going to another place. You don't shouldn't be the same place you were last year. You shouldn't be in a dead place where you are getting no life. You ain't getting no water of life in your spirit. Amen. You want to be in a place where you are being, okay, you want to be in a place where you are getting fed, nourished uh, for God. Amen. Our technicians in a minute, he's going to put on uh, uh, where the church home is. And you will be a our pastor is Dr. Uh, uh, Charles Owens. Amen. You can come and, and visit and, and worship with us. We teach the truth there. It's called Overcomers Community Church. We teach the truth there. It's in Roseville, Michigan. We believe in living holy. We believe in living righteous. We believe that there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. There's only one church, and, and Jesus Christ is the door to that church. Amen. And by which each, each man can enter in and find rest. Amen. Amen. If the technician, if you would, put, put up the, uh, the address for the church. It's called uh, Overcomers Community Church. After which, then put up the uh, the donation box where if they want to donate to our mission and uh, as we go forth and uh, teach the gospel, amen, and preach the gospel and feed the hungry, amen. You see, uh, if you was on channel uh, HBR uh, uh, TV 33, you can see my banner behind me. It's got the Star of David, different things like a tree, and it's uh, it, it tells all the things that the ministry wants to do, feed the hungry, amen, and provide for those, amen, that they need providing for to reach the lost, amen. We are 501c3. We're a nonprofit uh, Jesus Outreach Ministry, so you can make your donations to our P.O. Box, amen, and we'll just praise God for you. We thank God for each and every one of you joining, and we just ask that you keep encouraging us continue to pray amen i got anointed boy i felt like i wanted to preach i felt like i want to uh, uh get up and walk and shout but i got to sit down at this desk here 
But God is just so good today, and we thank God for each and every one of you joining us today. Amen. We just thank and bless God for you. Amen. Just continue, amen, to keep those in prayer that are perishing from hunger all over the world. And, and, and how can we say that we love and we, don't, we are not concerned about our brothers and sisters that are dying? Because I believe there are brothers and sisters, and I believe that the only person that can solve uh, uh, that problem is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that the church is called on a higher level than this world. We can't expect the government to go over there and feed those people. No, the government don't care about people. But we know that the church that is supposed to be operating in the love of God is supposed to be able to show love. They're supposed to have the resources to save and to give those people the things they have need of. God is expecting his church to rise up, amen, above that which men have been doing. Yeah, we're, we're about God's business. We're not about playing church. We're about being the church. And because we want to see a great revival, and to see a great revival, we have to be serious about God's business. We bless you in the name of the Lord, and we just thank you uh, for everything. Remember, you can find us on Facebook.com, Dale Wayne Owens, uh, the, uh, Jesus Outreach Ministries, or just Google my name, Dale Wayne Owens, and on Facebook, and you can be able to go on and see some of the things that I've taught. Uh, uh, and God bless you. Just be uh, encouraged in your walk with God. We're going to pray for you right now. Father God, we thank you right now for everybody that listens. God, we pray that you will sow your word into their lives. God, those that are looking, God, that may be sick in their bodies, God, that need healing. God, that you would heal them. And, and God, those that need salvation, that you would give them salvation, God. You said that if thou would confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thy heart that thou shalt be saved. Amen. So you confess it today and you can be saved in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' name. This is Pastor Owens. I'll be signing off. God bless you.